Hello and welcome to another socially isolated edition of the Full Force News Burst brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com with me as your host, Chris. Bring home the toilet paper, McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. I'm solo again to report on the news that Hasbro have launched a new initiative called Bring Home the Fun. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this news burst. A number of days ago, Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner was interviewed on Yahoo Finance and CNBC in response to the COVID-19 pandemic and how it was subsequently affecting the toy giant. In one of his responses, he mentioned a new initiative whereby Hasbro were going to bring home the fun to help bring some fun activities to the home for families during this uncertain period of time. The initiative has since been launched with a new website complete with a video comprised of Hasbro employees at home with their kids, explaining some of the aspects of the venture and generally having some fun again. The site is filled with content around Hasbro brands such as Play-Doh and Nerf, showing fun activities to do in and around the house and garden, if you have one of course. They have also teamed up with a number of organisations such as the Autism Project for their Toy Box Tools section, a collection of resources to help kids of all abilities engage in the joy of play. The site also directs parents to be fearless and kind, another initiative to help create a more empathetic generation by calling kids to stand up, be inclusive and make a difference. Hasbro have also partnered with Save the Children and No Kid Hungry to offer relief to some of the most vulnerable communities and to support the Save with Stories campaign. Finally, the site has a shop in order to easily purchase Hasbro products as they continue to ship and deliver during this difficult time when nobody can get out comfortably to peruse the aisles. There are plenty of noble causes in here and as a business it makes a lot of sense for Hasbro to go this route in order to maintain themselves as a company during this very odd time in history, which will no doubt see many companies struggle and possibly disappear completely. Hasbro has seen a steady rise in sales currently, which wasn't totally unexpected but will most certainly give them impetus to maintain that trend and focusing on bringing the fun home will definitely aid in that rise. Personally, I'm looking forward to bringing the fun outside, but unfortunately have no idea when that particular initiative will be allowed. So you better keep washing your hands. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host, me. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force